I'm not entirely sure of the pound test of my leader line, so I'm trying to baby it a little bit. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Just out riding around and was going to go to another location, but like usual, when I go out and fish somewhere, somebody else is already there. So, anyway, we're at a spot that I haven't fished at, but I've been to on the channel just kind of looking and exploring at spots. This is just a little creek that goes through some of the wildlife property up here. And this is the upper end of a section that we've fished a lot before on the channel. So, there's a possibility for anything carp, gar, catfish, bass, whatever. Now, I am not casting a single line over here on this side of this little bridge. For the sole reason is you could probably tell there's a lot of logs on that side and there's a lot of logs on this side. This side is a no-go. <laughs> I'm not spending all day snagging and breaking off and retying, which is probably what will still happen over here even though that's a lot clearer and less snaggy. So anyway, we're going to just work with night crawlers today just because I had some left over. And I feel like I'm probably going to be undergunned because you never know what's in here. I do know there's a lot of rocks underneath this bridge. So if something gets into them, we're probably in trouble. All right. If I remember correctly, there's a little bit shallower spot. Like there is a little bit of structure there, but it gets fairly deep on that side and quite a few rocks right here under the bridge. So I believe what we'll do is put my heavier rod over there and you put this one right here in the middle now i'm just using a plain jean just old-fashioned rigs and split shots down to a small hook with some night crawler actually i want to move that closer to the bridge because we do have a little bit of current going that direction These here is my new Whisker Seeker rod holders. I like them better than the takedowns. The only downside from these compared to the takedowns is these are a thinner material, but you have more options as far as the angles and stuff that you can set your rod at. And being a lighter material, these are quarter inch where takedowns were three, three eighths. These are much lighter. And where we're stationed at is just right here. This is my kind of spot. I can sit in the shade and watch my rods. Downside is this spot is just eat up is sweat bees right now. If I'm being honest, I feel like I should have done a high low rig type thing since this is kind of muddy and I know there's trash down there. I usually feel more comfortable having my sinker on the bottom and my bait, you know, a foot or more up off of it instead of it's set up like a Carolina rig, kind of like it is right now. Hmm. Something is already poking at this rod here on the left. That or it's just got hit by some current and it got moved. It could be a turtle too. There's a lot of turtles in this, this creek. Mm -hmm. We got something. Ain't no telling how long it's being hooked, but hey, hopefully you ain't hooked too deep in there, but we got us a, yeah, you're hooked too far down in there, but you a drum fish. Fortunately, I got most of my worm back. And I really wish I had brought some bug spray with me because these sweat bees are chewing my hind end up. I'm going to have to just tie another hook on there and be done with it. Well, we're not skunked, and that was pretty quick, so. Trying to keep from tripping over these rocks, and I've got a fish on. He pretty much set the hook himself on that one. Feels pretty good. What it is, what it is. Ah, it's our buddy old pal, the drum. Again, except a little bit bigger. I could probably get you out. 
there we go i got most of my worm back not all of it which hey i'll take what i can get decent sized little drum and let's get it back in the water ski deuce ain't no telling how long you've been on but it ain't been on long and i don't know that i'm gonna get you back or get that one back because i do not see that hook that figures be nice if we had a good strong continuous breeze yeah these sweat bees suck probably going to be repetitive about that one didn't have my camera going but we got us a uh, pretty much a little razor fish <laughs> these little yellow bass are something else I've said it dozens of times in previous videos open your mouth turd these things are sharp everywhere <laughs> i'll just screenshot another picture of a yeller on my phone and count that one well i will say this spot is turning out better than i thought it would caught nothing big so far which i do what heck was that all about oh i do have some corn in my vehicle so i could throw one rod out with some corn and maybe catch a small carp or even a big carp <laughs> that would be kind of a disaster in the small creek was lighter tackle that rod on the right just got tapped again again go ahead take her down poop out the hook I ain't committed to it. It seems like nearly every fish besides like one or two have come from like right over there in that corner where the biggest part of the shade is. And I think that one's on there. But yeah, it seems like besides the one or two from over here, they've all came from that patch of uh, shade right over there. Come on, take her down, take her down, take her down. Got you. Feels like another drum. Yep, that's exactly what it is. And are you where I can get you out? Does not appear to be. I've got plenty of hooks, so I ain't worried about that part. It's just, I don't like cutting fish off like that that one's way too far for me to get it back i'll screenshot one of my other ones and get you back i'm glad i forgot about the bag from the other day laying in my floorboard got some some agua or some of that uh high quality a cool looking back here see if there's another deer come through been hearing stuff walk through the woods back there of course we're right on the right on the edge of some private property but this right here is public yeah it's not been too bad of a stop i mean it's a little bit warm and dealing with a bunch of uh flying politicians or i mean insects but other than that it's not been a bad little stop down here i kind of hope that it picks up here pretty soon because i'm probably gonna give it about another hour and a half and call her quits and save my nightcrawlers for later because nightcrawlers have got expensive like, I don't know if y'all have noticed that, but they have got stupidly expensive. There we go. This one just got hit while I was putting that one back out. Oh, heck, I ain't even got this one set down yet. Maybe that drop shot style setup worked better. And that one just got hit, and I've got one on this one. Freaking hook keeper. You 
are a little green sunfish. I thought you were a little brown spotted sunfish for a minute there, but you weren't. Something's tinkering or, well, something has swam off with this one because it was straight out. Now it's over here in all this mess. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, I can get you a big old chunky gut of a green sunfish. I need to keep my pliers in my pocket. That way I don't have to keep walking back up here. <sighs> Dang it. That one got down in his gills and I can't get my pliers down there to... to uh, get it out. Dang it. I was getting a bite on that one, and then this one got hit. And uh, that one got you. Feels like another drum, if not a small channel cat. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. All right, now, my sinker, there we go. Now he's hooked too deep to get it out. And of course my pliers are in my pocket, I'll be dang. So I'm gonna have to cut you. But, it's my favorite of all the catfish species, a little baby flathead. Jeez. Well, I ain't got my camera with me. Actually, we're gonna go up here, cut that sinker off, because I thought I got it too. And we're gonna get you back. You just need to get hit and took down. But anyway, before I forget again, I have pretty much been leaving my camera off until I get a good convincing bite. Because of sitting in a direct sun and all that, it'll make my camera heat up and last thing i need is my camera to not want to turn on or overheat right when a decent fish or any fish hits that's why there was a fish hitting it and i bet the movement of me pulling that thing up oh it's on another yellow bass but well Yeah, I might be able to get you. Yeah. yeah. I thought I could, but it's in his gills, so. <sighs> oh, well. I guess we'll retie and put some fresh worm and a hook on there. You just need to go ahead and get hit again. All right. We got one on, I think. It ain't real big, but we'll take it. Another yellow bass. Chill out. I'll just screenshot one of my other ones. Well, we're not going to give her a whole heck of a lot longer, and I've probably said that a thousand times by now, but that's just how it is. I'm gonna give it about 20 more minutes and then say screw it and go to the house get something even cooler to drink start working on this here video get caught up on some YouTube videos that some of my favorite channels um, have posted I'm getting bit on that one too still getting bit
uh, drop in the comments what are your favorite YouTube channels to watch that you watch consistently. The reason I ask is it's kind of cool to know what everybody else watches plus that gives me an opportunity to start checking out some new channels and adding to the list of channels that I watch regularly like I've been watching a little bit more of the M Hood Fishing channel. I like his stuff pretty well. Um, getting bit again. It probably got off, and it more than likely did. But yeah, M Hood Fishing. Um, been watching a little bit of Kicking Their Bass TV or whatever it is. Not a whole heck of a lot because YouTube is so saturated with bass fishing channels. Oh crap, are you actually on this time or are you just bullshitting me like the last few times? Nope, you don't. Probably swallowed it to you, butthole, but hey, you're on too. Or getting hit at least. There we go. I'll just screenshot one of my other ones from my log book. That way I can get you back out. I think this one might actually have one on it. Because the line is consistent. Yeah, it's got. Well, maybe. Oh. This is large. What is this? I'm not entirely sure of the pound test of my leader line, so I'm trying to baby it a little bit. What is this? And I got a glimpse of a tail there for a second, but It wasn't much. And this other rod just got hit. This is a good channel cat. I may just have to weigh you because you might be my PB channel cat. Um, let me go back up here and get my net real quick. <laughs> All right. God, I got you. That's a pretty good channel cat. All right, I'm going to set my phone up here so it don't knock it in the water. I'm gonna grab my scale real quick, which I should have done when I went to grab my net. All right, there's the hook. All right. Now you were munching on my finger, that's for sure. Four eight two. That is not a PB channel cat, 
but it's a good one so it was off by quite a bit as far as being a pb goes all right we're going to go ahead and get you back Let me wipe that slime off my hands see what i was okay there's something on you too okay maybe they're not all right y'all we are calling it quits kind of wanted to leave a little bit earlier but i decided not to just because you know later it gets about usually picks up but i haven't fished this spot so i wanted to give it a little bit longer but the rods we use i figured i'd go over that real quick because i know some of y'all been asking about the rods and this one is a six nine medium six cents stash stick 3000 stratic on here with some 20 pound die with eight strand braid the other rod exact same rod except it's a six six medium light 1000 stratic and 10 pound braid now these rod holders that i was using i like them more than the takedown rod holders that i used for a long time just because one it's a reputable brand and let's face it these are not as strong as the takedowns these are quarter inch as opposed to three eighths on theirs but really if you're catching a fish that's going to bend two sticks of quarter inch steel that easy then you've got other problems but being a quarter inch makes them obviously much much lighter and you've got a couple of different options as far as the way you sit your rod now it also has this thing pre-welded onto it unlike the takedown rod holders which you have to order and put on yourself or these are lighter they're a little bit taller and they just got more features but you've got this top little rung here you've got that angle there you got one that's almost straight up which is the next bar and then you've got pretty much straight up if you have it sitting on that that little feature right there which keeps your rod butt from sitting down in the mud they come with a free whisker seeker decal that's glowing in the dark so you can see them at night anyway this afternoon was pretty dang slow but i wanted to give this spot a little bit more of a chance because i've never actually sat down and fished it turned out to be a pretty solid little afternoon we want to get all this crap loaded up get back to the house and get to work on this video if you like these kind of videos like share comment subscribe all that stuff definitely helps with the videos and helps with the algorithm hope you like the video we'll see you in the next one